So we hear a lot about overpowered tanks, such as the Churchill Black Prince, the VK-101P and the Kenny Otsu. Oh, the Kenny. But what about underpowered? Are there any tanks in Blitz that are truly underpowered? Well, yes there are. And these are my top five of what I think are the most underpowered tanks in Blitz. <laughs> Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to look at the most underpowered tanks in Blitz, in my opinion. Now let's just get a few things straight. These aren't necessarily bad or crap tanks, these are just what I think are underpowered. In other words we have the OP tanks like the Kenny Otsu with its broken reload and we do have underpowered tanks. So this is number five and for me it's the Chiri, the Japanese tier 7 heavy. Now, why do I think this is underpowered? Well, I think it's underpowered because of quite a few reasons. One of them being its armor. This is a heavy tank. Its armor is not that great. That means it's not really a heavy, guys. It's, it's more of a clumbering, lumbering hunk of Japanese metal. It's also an autoloader. Now, the autoloader itself isn't bad, and it'll churn out quite good burst damage but on their own the showers are pretty poor it's you know it's not dishing out a lot of damage realistically it's slow it's not a big beast it's okay the reload time isn't bad but there's just something about it that's missing this tank realistically is not one that rolls onto the battlefield and puts the other side into worries. I mean, they don't sit there going, oh my god, it's a Chiri, we're all doomed. They say, ha ha ha, it's a Chiri, we could win this. This is why I think it's underpowered. Heavy tanks should be bullies. Heavy tanks should be formidable. This is neither. It's neither a bully and it's not formidable. That doesn't make it a bad tank. It's actually a good tank once you know how to play it. Once you get used to its autoloader and once you get used to its armor, it's actually okay. It's not bad, but I think it's underpowered. You can do reasonably well in it, as I said. It's not a bad tank. It's not one of those tanks that I'd say it's one of the worst in Blitz. It's okay, but that's the thing. It shouldn't be, it's okay. It should be, it's a really good tank. It's a great heavy. It's a nice heavy for its tier. And that's the thing. This is tier seven. It is outclassed at tier 7. You know, I mean, this is the tier 7 game, and I'm outclassed. It's a simple fact of life. And this is what makes it underpowered. It doesn't pack the punch it should be packing at tier 7. At tier 6, yeah, it's not too bad. Maybe OP. But at tier 7, it's just out of its class. I mean, look at that, 180 I alpha. That's First damage is good because you got three clip, but nah, this is this one for me is is a no-brainer. It's it's underpowered. It's not a great tank, but it's not a bad tank, and that's what makes it underpowered. If it was a crap tank, I'd be like, yeah, it's just a crap tank. Don't bother with it. But it's not. It's just underpowered. Number four. <laughs> Well, a lot of people would argue with me on this. It's the T110E5, the American Tier X Heavy. Now, I do think this tank is woefully underpowered. Loads of people love it, don't get me wrong. Lots of people roll out in it and have a really good time with it. But don't forget, this is a heavy tank at Tier 10. This is going up against the other heavies at Tier 10, such as the IS-7, the E100, the Mouse, and... Well, it struggles. I mean, look at the pen on this thing. I mean, it will pen most things. And, well, it won't pen most things, actually. It bounces a lot. But the damage it dishes out is sort of... Mm, yeah, yeah, I'd be better off in a tier 9. I mean, look, bounce on a VK. That's a tier 9. Bounce to tier 9. <laughs> it's, you know, when I do pen, I'm lucky to get 400. And this is the thing about this tank. It's nondescript. It, it's got no oomph to it. I mean, watch this. 400 into the front of an E75. Why? 
it's a tier 10 tank guys you know it, tier 10 this thing should be churning out either massive rolls or it should have good armor and it's got neither the armor on this thing if you, unless it's hauled down is absolutely pants i mean it's an american tank so you've got to play them hauled down and i'm purposely playing this one like this but if you're not hauled down every man and his dog can pen you really you know it, it's absolutely paper thin on its hull turret spectacular but then you've got that gun and don't forget this is a heavy tank if this was a medium tank then it's fine this is a good medium but it's not it's a heavy if this is a motion um yeah okay if he finds it easy to pen that you got an engine fire and knocked in 340. you know you can do reasonable damage in it what i'm trying to suggest is it's a heavy tank and as a heavy tank this thing should be churning out a lot of damage and it's not and that's why i think it's underpowered the gun just needs a bit of a tweak if you were knocking out 500 rolls with what it's got then it's not so bad okay so there's a bit of a trade-off with this tank because you get a quite a decent reload i mean you're not talking the mega seconds of the e100 and you're not talking the nanoseconds of the mouse but the mouse disses out equal amount of damage to this thing but its armor profile is off the charts this thing dishes out next to no damage realistically it's it's mouse damage and its armor profile is shit apart from the turret i mean hold down it's just crap but even on the turret there are things sticking out and sticking up that you can pen easily that's why to me this is just not a complete tank it's underpowered it could be more i mean look at that i mean 100 and, f 100 and something roll with an he and i'm not saying it's a bad tank i don't think it's a bad tank well, i do think it's a bad tank i don't like this tank to be fair but it's not necessarily a bad tank i know people who absolutely go out and murder the game in this thing but there's something missing and that's why i think it's underpowered and this is what i'm trying to say i'm not saying that bad tanks are underpowered or, or good tanks are only overpowered you can have good tanks that are also underpowered so in at number three is the Kampfpanzer 70 the german tier 9 heavy tank which is a premium tank now um I, this tank i don't mind to be fair it's a tricky tank it's a difficult tank to get on with but again it's slightly underpowered the pen on this thing isn't the best in some respects i mean it depends uh, sometimes it struggles to pen sometimes it doesn't the engine is yeah you know okay it's a again reason this is on the list it's a heavy tank it's a tier 9 heavy yet again its hull armor is absolutely pants it's got a good gun don't get me wrong once you've reloaded <laughs> once you've managed to aim but the reload time is obscene to be fair for this tank i mean it, it is pretty long i mean when i say pretty long it's almost 16 seconds long and sometimes you don't pen and if you don't keep it hauled down you're going to struggle and it hasn't exactly got a really good turn of speed it's 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 rather slow but the gun when it works is fantastic but there's just something missing as i say now i keep saying underpowered doesn't mean bad it just means that there's something not quite right with the tank now this one has actually had a little bit of a buff i believe it used to be worse than this when i first got it way back when it first came out it, it wasn't as good as this it's now improved slightly and you know we, we you can do some decent damage in this thing don't get me wrong i mean you can smack things for the kingdom come but that's not the point there's still something about this tank that's just missing and i don't know what it is it's maybe it's the armor maybe it's the excessive load time i don't know the thing is if you lower the load time the alpha damage on this thing is massive i mean it really is massive i mean look at that i've just stuck 700 into the front of that e100 so if you lower the load time you're looking at borderline op now okay a lot of tanks you have to go haul down and don't forget this is a hybrid american german tank okay it's in the german tech tree but realistically it was both american and german this is why the hull is paper thin but 
I don't know, there's just something about this tank that makes it slightly underpowered. And a lot of people struggle in this tank. Really, they do. I mean, it, it's not an easy tank to get to grips with. And it's got everything to see, I didn't pen that at all. It's got everything to do with the gun. Don't get me wrong, when the gun works, it's fantastic. When it doesn't, it's frustrating as hell. It's a good tank. It's difficult to get to grips with, but it is a great tank. I just think it's underpowered. But that's just me, and as I said, this is my opinion of the top five underpowered tanks. This is not, you know, war gaming saying these are the most underpowered, or, you know, surveys where people have said they're underpowered, because everybody has a different view. I mean, I did read a, a load of stuff on who thought what tanks were underpowered, and you know what, the St. Chorion 1 came up a lot, and I don't think the St. 1 is underpowered. I, I really don't. I think it's difficult to play, and it's the same with the Conqueror. Loads of people say the Conqueror's underpowered, and again, it's not. It's difficult to play. Same with the one two, the one one two glacial. That's not underpowered. It's just difficult to play. This, I think, is slightly underpowered, and I think it's to do with the engine more than anything else. Because it's such a slow, lumbering tank. I mean, I know it's a heavy, but it's very slow, and I think that's what it's sluggish, and I think that's what makes it underpowered. But that doesn't mean it's a bad tank. In fact, it's a great tank. I mean, we did almost 4,000 damage there. We got a first class and we took two tanks. It's not a bad tank. It's just sluggish, which means to me it's underpowered. Anyway, moving on. Number two in my list coming right up. And it's this one, a tank I absolutely hate. This is the M6A2E1 Experimental, the American Tier 8 Heavy. It's a premium tank. Now, there's an M6A2E1 in tier 7, and that tank is spectacular, that tank is superb, that tank is perfectly suited to tier 7. This tank, however, is almost an identical copy of that tank, and it's in tier 8. This tank is truly underpowered. Okay, it's got relatively okay armour. At tier 7, where its brother sits, it's got amazing armour, it's very difficult to pen. At tier 8, where it sits, not necessarily so. Okay, I'm bouncing here, but that's because I know the angles to put at, and I know where the tanks are. But you can get caught out, and when you're caught out, you can be penned easily. And, you know, whilst I said underpowered tanks doesn't necessarily mean to say bad tanks, I hate this tank. I really absolutely hate it. I love its brother in tier 7, but I absolutely detest this tank. I think this tank is just, there's everything missing in it. The The gun is not brilliant. We've done no damage so far, by the way. We've just bounced 800. The gun is not good. The It's out of its league. That's what I really think. It's just in the wrong tier. And it's underpowered for this tier. Don't forget, this is a tier 8 tank, which means it can go against tier 9s. And if you are bottom tier in this thing, you struggle. There's, there's no simple way around it. Now, its brother that sits in tier 7, that can go into a tier 8 game, and it doesn't struggle. That's the difference. This struggles, the brother doesn't. And, it, okay, we're doing okay in this game, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm angling it correctly, I'm bounced 1,200, and I've knocked out 1,170 odd damage. But it's not setting the world on fire. I mean, I've lost some hit points, and I've played it conservatively. You have to play it conservatively, because there's just something missing. It's, again, it's another one of these sluggish tanks. It's a tank that I just think is in the wrong class. This should be a tier lower, not a tier higher than its brother. And, like I say, the tier 7 version, I adore it. I think it's perfectly suited for tier 7. This, well, this struggles. Now it's going to come up against, you know, it, when it comes up against tier 9s, it really is out of its league. And that's why I think it's underpowered. There's just something wrong. And a lot of people say, oh, but it's an overpowered version of the tier 7. Well, that's the point. The tier 7 is possibly OP, which means this is possibly UP. That's the point. Because the tier 7 version 
is a formidable tank. And when people see that tank in the lineup, they go, wow, don't forget, guys, this is a heavy. I mean, the armor on it is not too bad. But again, when you see the tier 7 version in the lineup, you go, ooh, that's a tricky tank. When you're at tier 9 and you see this in the lineup, you go, aha, maybe I get away with this. And, and that's what, to me, makes an underpowered tank. Its brother is probably OP, as I say. This, not so. It's just simple as that. I think this is underpowered. Just, just, just my view. Maybe because I don't like it. But it's not just that. I do think it's really, really sluggish. I just do. I think it just goes, maybe yeah, I could have a go today if I really wanted to, but I can't be bothered. I mean, we did okay there, don't get me wrong, but I still think it's underpowered. And number one, <laughs> no surprises to many people, it's the VK7201K, the German Tier X Heavy. Now, a lot of people, especially the likes of Bushka, say this is the worst Tier X. Mm, possibly. This really, truly is the epitome of an underpowered tank. This is meant to be a super heavy tank. <laughs> yeah, right. Everything can pen it. Oh, about 640 there though. It's got really crap armor. It really has. Even when you go haul down, you can still pen the cheeks of its turret. The armor is just crap. The gun, oh well, the gun's an E100 gun. So you've got you know, a pretty lengthy load time of 17 seconds. Good and near as damn it. But you can dish out 600 I end alpha. That's not too bad. It's slow. Yeah, it's slow. It's slow and it's got pants armor. And why would you want this tank? <laughs> really? I mean, seriously, why would you want this tank when you can get the E100? Why spend credits on this POS when you can get an E100? which does have armor, and it does have the things that a super heavy should have. There's no point buying this thing, really. Now, if they were, however, to either A, improve its armor, or B, reduce its gun uh, loading time, or C, give it some turn of speed so it can get out of danger, then maybe it may not be as underpowered as you think. Although, look at that, I mean, it doesn't get me wrong. When the gun works, the gun works. But the thing that lets this down, the armor. The armor is just non-existent. And when you're meant to be a super heavy tank, having no armor is just like, well, it's just ridiculous, isn't it, really? The gun, when it works, I like it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, okay, I, I, I fall into the category of that this is actually a bad tank. But it's a bad tank because it's underpowered. It's got crap armor, crap mobility, and... You know, it, it's just, why would you bother with this, really? It, there's no point. And that's the thing. And this is why I think this makes an underpowered tank. Um, you know, there's just something missing. There's just something. When you see this on the team sheet, you don't go, oh, there's a VK. You go, <laughs> there's a VK. I'm glad it's not an E100 or a mouse. And that's the thing, guys. You know, this is what makes it underpowered. Anyway. That's, in my opinion, the top five underpowered tanks. I purposely did not pick anything below tier six because since the grand culling of 5.5, there are lots of underpowered tanks now in the lower, in the tiers below six. That's why I picked these five. Now, you may agree with me, you may disagree with me. The point of this one was, it's my opinion, and I think these tanks are underpowered. There's just something missing and they could be improved. But who knows if they will be. Time will tell. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this has been entertaining. Uh, by all means, send me in your replays to the usual address, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. You know, you can also like and comment. And if you really want to, subscribe. Because that would be a really nice thing to do. <laughs> and, you know, the more subscribers I get, the more happy I am. The more happy I am. And the more subscribers I get, the bigger the chance I've got wargaming to Give me something to give away. That ain't going to happen yet because I need a thousand subscribers for that to happen. 
Anyway, until the next time, guys, I hope this has been entertaining. And as I say, as usual, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because that's what it's all about at the end of the day, fun and happiness.